Hi friends, I'm back with one more video. So today we are going to start a new series on straddle. If you look at my YouTube, I've started with Ironfly. You'll find the end-to-end -end series on Ironfly. You'll find end-to-end -end series on debit spreads. You'll find end-to-end -end series on ratio spreads. Uh, we also have end-to-end -end series on the <coughs> credit spreads. We we have the swing trading. Very recently, since from last two to three days, I've started the series on strangle. And in parallel, I'm just planning to start a series on straddle. A few key points would be, you know, right? Straddle. Uh, in general, if you take the percentage of people who trade straddle is, I would say, 70 to 75 percent or 70 to 80 percent of the people will deploy the straddle. Honest, I'm telling so-called big players. I mean, so-called people with like huge money. Do you think they'll deploy all this four-leg strategy, five-leg strategy, and they'll start doing all the adjustments? No, they will go for naked straddle, but with their own strategy. <clears throat> if you will make monthly strategy, if you will make uh, two-month strategy, right? I mean, they they don't like to do like unnecessary adjustments, and the way they deploy the straddle is very very conservative way. They, they deploy the straddle in such a way that they get only 1% or 0.5% per week. They do not do the way we do as a retailer. We expect 3%, 4%, 5% per week. But the big players, when they play with big money, so when I say big money, huge crores of rupees, say they will be more happy to get like 0.5% in a week. Or let's say 1% in a week. That would be like 4% per month, 48% per year. Just imagine when banks gives us 5%, <coughs> you will be getting 48%. Even if you take away your losing trades and everything, 30% is in your hand. Provided you deploy the strandle uh, in a very conservative way based on your risk appetite. Okay? So now, <coughs> there are some myths. Straddle. What is straddle? So straddle. Okay, let me show you directly practical. Okay. Uh, one second, friend. Let me close this. Uh, where is my okay? Right. <clears throat> so we'll take this two two taps. All right. So straddle can be at the ATM. We can deploy straddle at OTM. We can deploy straddle at ITM. There is a myth in market saying that straddle has to be deployed at ATM. No. Straddle can also be view based, and straddle has to be view based. Let me show you. Uh, I'll do one thing. I'll go to Bank Nifty and Sensible. I'll go to the ready-made trades, neutral, and then I'll just select the short straddle. Okay, this is your short straddle. Meaning, where is your, your comp, uh, what is this? Bank Nifty stands at 33,539. So, I've deployed 33,500. So, let's assume this as the ATM. This is your typical straddle. If you, if you make this buy, you know, right, this will become your long straddle. Okay, just I'm just I'm giving this opposite of long straddle is a normal short straddle. So this is at the ATM, right? If you think the market is sideways, you can just go for the at the money straddle. Now, what is OTM? I'll just go like 100 points OTM, 100 points OTM, right? This is your straddle. OTM meaning so when do we go for OTM so when you when let's say your view is market will be sideways to mild bullish okay what I meant to say sideways to mild bullish okay if your view is something like this market will be sideways to maybe a mild bullish like this so you do not know when that breakout will happen when this breakout will happen but you you, you have a view of market will be sideways for some days for some hours so then you can just go for OTM for the reason being you have more safety of 2.49% on the upside and you have less safety on 2.13 ideally right when you are bullish about the market you should have more safety on the call side see this range right you should have more range on the call side let's say I'll, I'll go one more 100 points OTM right now check your safety on the put call side is increased to 2.78 even if the market makes a move of like because your your view is sideways to bullish right there is no point in deploying the straddle at the atm so you have to select your strike price in such a way that it should match up with your view all right again if you are like maybe 
sideways to bullish i'll go 100 more points this is also your straddle you have 3.4% safety on the call side and you have just 1.49% safety on the put side because your view is sideways to bullish okay so let me reset let me clear out and i'll show you how to make it in the money let's say the other way <coughs> this is your typical at the money i'll just go 100 points inside okay now whenever your market view is sideways to mild bearish right this is your support line this is your resistance line so let's say you have market but you are, you are aware that market can break down so then you have to select in the money because you have more safety on the call side now put side 2.8% and only 2% let's say if you are like more uh, bearish about the market you can just go with see end of the day straddle means you have to have the same strike price that's it one call and one put that's it this is your straddle doesn't matter is whether it is in the money or at the money or otm but you need to have the same strikes all right now let me let me if i change this to other strike this is not your straddle straddle is you need to have both you, your your leg should match basically your strike should match basically and if you are like more super bullish or super bearish you have to deploy something because you have safety of 3.61 on the downside and a safety of 1.59% on the upside <coughs> this is view based that's what i mean to say straddle can be at deployed at and the money at otm and in the money there is there is just just remove that myth from your mind saying that we have to deploy the straddle uh, always at the atm it is view based <coughs> all right now again let me bring it back to the original now so i'll give you a small example let's say let's say you see a loss of let's say market makes a move of 1% upside you see a loss of 2297 all right friends 2297 with a, with a up move of 1% because end of the day we deploy the straddle with a view of market should be sideways if market is momentum market you will definitely get into loss <coughs> now what i want to show you is let's say we have deployed at the money straddle now with a move of 1% you will see the loss of 2297 on the current day on the t plus 0 day all right this is your at the money let's say what i'll do <coughs> i'll deploy uh, a view base i mean i will deploy in such a way that 200 points and 200 points this is my straddle okay i'm just deploying a sideways to bullish uh, straddle <coughs> now <coughs> <coughs> let's see at 1% what loss it will show you see at 1% now it is showing you a loss of only 865 <coughs> you got the difference when we have deployed the straddle at the ATM the loss was showing 2000 change but now with the view based we have deployed the straddle in such a way that we have more safety on the call side with a move of 1% we see the loss of only 865 Right, this is one of the small example I wanted to show you because end of the day, I would say 99% of the retailers, I would say 95% of the retailers, they will just follow the standard straddle. But the smart traders, they will deploy the straddle based on the view of the market. Check the difference. With 1% move, your loss is only, uh, how much is like 800. Right, check 800. But if I make it to normal uh, ATM straddle, with a 1% of move, your loss is almost, almost 2500. You got my point? Okay, <coughs> let's move to PPT. Now we have discussed about straddle can be view based and straddle must be view based. Okay, now what are the other key points, right? We, we will check about the capital, right? We have, we have discussed right? all the big players, they will go for straddle. Majority of the revenue they generated from straddle, but they will not deploy in the gambler mode. We, we, we tend to say that straddle holds unlimited loss. Straddle holds unlimited loss. Yes, absolutely it holds unlimited loss, but it all depends on the strike selections you are doing and the kind of active adjustments you will do. The other point is, 
right uh, okay well let's discuss about the shiftings at uh, the adjustment see end of the day straddle is all about active adjustments the smart adjustments people doesn't even know like how many adjustments we have see we have see for now i can recollect i can recall so just <coughs> the moment i've put all the dots here right right see i'll not <coughs> fill it now the way we had like 10 to 12 adjustments in iron fly the way we have like three to four adjustments in debit spread right similar way we will have many adjustments in for the straddle but for the for the introduction purpose because we are making a video on straddle series i have just jotted out this four adjustments one thing would be like shifting of straddle we can do we can just do the delta management <coughs> we can do the normal roll up and roll down on the opposite side i'll show you all the examples and you can expect one each video from me on the shifting of straddle the second video on the delta management the third one would be roll up or roll down your opposite side the fourth one would be converting your straddle to strangle and then so on we have like 10 to 12 adjustments but for the only for introduction purpose i'm just giving you a sort of trailer okay so now <clears throat> what is shifting of adjustments sorry shifting of straddle let's say let's say you deployed a straddle all right the next day morning the next day morning let's say you have deployed a straddle uh, let's say this is friday okay i'll just make it to a straddle see now the red <coughs> and, and one more thing is like the red vertical line is not standing in front of the uh, in, in between the corner uh, retailers will try to do all things so they wanted they they just wanted this vertical line to be in middle so again they will go like upside I, okay now this is strong so this, they'll, they'll treat this as a str straddle again they'll they'll move this again they'll see okay the vertical line is on the left side again they'll reduce the market or uh, atm they'll reduce this this is not the way we need to deploy the straddle fence all depends on your view all depends on your market view that's what i said and also all depends on where the wix stands see wix plays a very important role i wix is i premium high premium means you'll get bigger range if you have high premium you will get bigger range even you'll get three percent on the uh, downside and at times you'll get three percent on the upside also because end of the day the premiums are based on the i wix if i wix i premium view is important that's what i said view is important i'll just leave it to you if you want to follow if you want to get the view of the market friends i've done the price action video see just watch all those videos and then you will get more clarity right you'll get more uh, confidence in terms of finding the view predicting is wrong word so we should not predict the market but always you should have the view of the market and then in line to that if you can just combine your open interest let me let me say one thing if you see more built up on let's say 33500 this strike and this strike if you see more built up uh, forming <coughs> on the option chain on the open interest right you can just combine the open interest your view your wix your chart analysis and based on that you can just select the <coughs> strikes accordingly and what we have discussed we can we, edge is very important friends see edge is a, see end of the day straddle is all about unlimited loss absolutely 2.4 percent downside moment <coughs> it can happen on any day in especially in <coughs> sorry friends <coughs> <coughs> uh, throat infection okay so 2.5 percent downside move it is feasible it is <coughs> quite so always you are carrying a risk of unlimited loss right so what what you can do is what you can do is if you are worried or concerned about your unlimited loss you can just deploy you can just deploy a edge on the call site See, I'll show you what is your break even. 32,721. <coughs> 32,721. <coughs> okay, sorry, friends. 32,700. <coughs> what is that? Okay, what will happen if I buy this overnight edge at 320 or 325? End of the day, I'm not talking about during the market, right? That's it. <coughs> if you do this, your unlimited loss on the put side has been mitigated to only 3000 
okay even if the if the even if the market see i've discussed many a times friends so maybe who the viewers who is watching it for the first time right who doesn't know this straddle i'm just giving you some basic uh, knowledge about because end of the day this is all about straddle right so that's what because if you want more details about the edges and everything you can find all the videos in my youtube so now the moment you add the edge at 320 your loss will be mitigated on the downside okay and the next day morning if the market opens flat you can just exit <coughs> you can just exit this buy leg and then convert back this to straddle that's what what i mean to say here add the edge overnight okay <coughs> sorry <coughs> and let's say you have deployed this straddle at maybe at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock or maybe during the one and you you have some urgency right maybe you have to attend some <coughs> funeral or it happened with me yesterday right they, i mean i've deployed some couple, couple of uh, strategies all of a sudden i got a very bad news saying that monkey has passed away so i have to go to uh, attend the funeral right so i cannot keep my market open i mean my trades open for the unlimited so what i've done let's say this is my straddle simple friends i'll just add a safety on by downside and what is 34200 right i'll add a safety on the upside 34200 just as a protection friend just as a protection because because my capital is <coughs> uh because that is my hard earned capital right i don't want to put my capital onto that risk right if you so that's it i'll just add this two adjustments so sorry this two edges i'll leave the market at least i know okay worst to worst my stop loss my uh maximum loss would be 6294 or 6000 and and even this loss is on the expiry day not on the t plus zero day even if the market comes to my break even let's say if market makes a move of let's say 1.4% or even if it comes to my break even my loss is only 2000 428 so what i meant to say is like if you go, if you want to attend some emergency or if you are a office goer <coughs> you can deploy or if you are away from the market for another 2 to 3 hours you should not be uh, leaving your trade exposed to unlimited loss in your absence this is one of the bare minimum what each and every retailer has to do just go ahead and add the edges what will happen end of the day you might lose like 300 400 500 rupees that's it but you will have peace of mind <coughs> all right now where are we right, yeah that's what so edge adding an edge during the day when you are away from the market that's what i meant to say when you are away from the market or overnight race view is important big players capital margin yeah one more thing we'll discuss friends i'll again get it back to original <coughs> straddle okay now this is very this is, this is very concern for all the retailers 1 lakh 30000 rupees usually one straddle will take so if you want if you want to decrease the margin yesterday i have made a video i have made a video friends i have just shown you like how to decrease the margin but still let me say if you want you can just go back to my video uh, to my youtube and you can watch the video how to decrease reduce the margin so what you have to do is like simple friends you have to just go to options look see we have like 1 lakh 30000 look out for 1 lakh 5 or 10 rupees premium or let's let's take 10 rupees by this edge and then on the on the call side you have to just buy this edge that's it friends two advantages you are able to mitigate you are able to reduce your margin from 1 lakh 20000 to 66000 50% and then you are able to make your unlimited loss limited right this is wrong to say even 36000 is also a sort of unlimited loss but still but still you are able to the, the ultimate thing what we wanted to achieve is how to reduce the margin we have done that because if i remove these two things This is one lakh thirty thousand. But the moment I've added the edges, this will become sixty-six thousand. All right. So we have discussed about this uh, at the money view-based straddle and also the key points. So now let's jump on to the shift, uh, the adjustments. I'll not show all the adjustments because one each adjustment will take like thirty or forty minutes because I'll be taking the simulation tool. I'll be explaining you everything. But let's let me give you some quick uh, teaser, sort of a teaser, like how uh, the adjustments we have to do. Let me show you. I'll delete this. <coughs> simple friends the first adjustments right shifting the straddle this is i would say uh, even this depends on when you are doing the shifting whether it is on friday or monday shifting the straddle is always an ultimate option on friday and on monday but again i'll not discuss all the details i'll dis i'll be discussing all these details when i make the dedicated video on the entire uh, shifting straddle by taking one simulation but okay let me take you to this is your 
straddle original straddle and let's say the next day market comes the next day market makes a move of 1% let's say right let's say the market moves at 1% move okay i'll i'll take it to the 1% see check it here <coughs> i'll take it to 1% right now market is here and you have a loss of 2246 this is projected loss friend this is projected see whatever videos i have made sensible will show you the projected loss <coughs> that will i'm not sure whether they will be considering the wicks or not because whenever the market falls a uh, market goes up your wicks will fall 95% of the time let's say even if the wicks fall see this is this is what happens you will not ideally see 2000 profit even the wicks will fall it so ideally you'll see a loss of 743 uh, or let's say the wicks falls only by 1% then your profit then your loss would be 1490 or it, it's other way when the market keeps going up there are chances also 5% wicks also keeps going up with the wicks keeps going up you will have huge loss okay let's take an example <coughs> Let, let's take an example of this right market went up wix fell by 1% your loss is 1490 now there are like multiple adjustments we can do the one adjustments what i can show you is right you can roll up or roll down the opposite side what you can do you have to i'll delete this one and i'll delete this what you have to do you will exit this pe <clears throat> because this will be in profit whenever the market makes a up move your pe will be exit the pe exit the pe so whatever premium the call is having you have to just sell one one more pe to make it back to straddle the moment you have done that what will happen you will have this kind of one more you will have a straddle sorry you will have a one more straddle like this small straddle you will be yeah, your market will be in the middle that's it friends now you have <coughs> sorry let me show you now you have like minus uh, 2.4% on the downside and 2.2% on the upside the moment you do the do the, do the adjustment this will become almost 2% and this will become like 1.8% because as and when you are rolling up your call you are increasing your profit but your range will decrease but the core strength of your straddle is the range try to remember friends the core strength of your straddle is your range but when you are doing the rolling up of the put yes no doubt you are bringing back your straddle to uh, center of your straddle but you are reducing the range you are reducing the range and the strength of the straddle is range okay let's discuss everything <coughs> in the adjustment video now either you can do the roll up the moment you roll up right this is what you will be doing the other adjustments what you can do is <coughs> already we have discussed up roll up right now <coughs> rather than doing the rolling up or rolling down everything what you have to do you have to just exit this entire trade accept the loss of 1000 or 1400 and then what you have to do is you have to deploy you have to shift your straddle you have to make a straddle like this wherever the market is standing you have to make one more straddle that's it friends again you will get good range right you will get good range rather than doing the roll up you will get good range even you might get the similar kind of range 2.4% 2.4% now your market will stand something here you have a new straddle this you have to do it only on friday and on monday <coughs> I'll, I'll explain i'm just giving you a disclaimer because on friday on monday you will get good premium so you will you can just go for sh shifting of straddle let's say the next day this is friday let's say the next day morning again the market came here friend market let me explain you right let me give you a small market came here <coughs> right so you might be having again a loss of okay um, uh, wicks will fall i'm just trying to simulate so this is not the original uh what do we say loss friends because let's say the wicks fall so let's say you, you're having one more one thousand of loss simple what you have to do is like exit this exit this straddle and you have to deploy one more straddle that's it friend this is that's it two straddles are enough two straddles are enough i'll show you all the simulation <clears throat> this is the shifting of straddle you have to exit this and deploy one more straddle and the market stands in between okay let me draw it clear uh, because this is very this is your straddle that's it market stands in between you have equal amount of safety on the call and put side and now you have to just manage your straddle <coughs> all right this we have discussed and what was the other thing so we have discussed about 
shifting the straddle on a very short intro right rolling up and rolling down we have uh, discussed and one more thing friends see what happens is let's say this is your straddle right when the market comes here <coughs> what will you do you will roll up and when the market comes here you will do your put roll up let's say your market comes to your break even right again you will do the roll up so one at one time you are converting your your straddle to a sort of strangle that's what see whenever we do the roll up right we will be able see as and when the market comes to break even at one point we will make our straddle to strangle this will this will appear something like this while while you do you will have very thin margin of profit that's it because you are rolling up rolling up rolling up you are making your straddle to strangle i'll stay with me i'll show you that demonstration also what i mean to say is like whenever you do the roll up you are converting your straddle see now your straddle will be like this the second roll up your straddle will become sort of like this right the third adjustment when you do your straddle will become like this right the fourth adjustment what you do your straddle will become like this sort of strangle and fifth fifth day your straddle will become like this thin profit that's it so you whenever you do the roll up that's what what i mean to say when you are rolling up or rolling down the other way when the market comes down also you will be able to get it into strangle so rolling up rolling up offset you are making your straddle to to strangle this one you are making your straddle to strangle this both are interlinked this both are interlinked but there is a one catch there is one catch i'll show you <coughs> what this is very important friend this is going to be like let's say you deployed let's say i'll make a video on this let's say you deployed a straddle all right now market was standing in front uh, in middle of the your straddle let's say the market came here 1% so let's say you add 500 premium for put and 500 premium for call stay with me friend try to understand this right now when the market made a move of 1 or 1.5% this 500 will become let's say this has become 350 so you have a profit of 150 because this has decayed and this 500 might have become let's say uh, 800 or 750 let's say 750 this has become 750 because this is your testing side right so you have a profit of 150 you have a profit of 150 here on the put side because market went up and you have a loss of let's say 500 and 750 250 you have a loss of 250 friends you have a loss of 250 net net 250 minus 150 so you are at a loss of minus 100 right 100 into 250 100 into 25 lots right 100 into 25 so you will be at a loss of let's say 2500 right this is the way right whenever you deploy the straddle if the market goes up your call side premiums will become 7 let's say 750 and your put side premium has reduced because this will be like profit that has given you a dk of 150 so 150 is your profit this 150 is your profit and 250 is your loss net net 250 <coughs> minus 150 would be 100 rupees will be your uh, loss 100 into 250 2500 so now you have an option of converting this straddle to strangle so what will you do in this situation what you have to do is like exit this call position exit this call leg position for try friends stay with me right see we have discussed about shifting the straddle we have discussed i'll discuss about the delta management in few minutes we have discussed about rolling up and rolling down right now we are discussing about see anyways rolling up and rolling down also will make your uh, straddle to strangle but this is one way within one adjustments we can just convert it to strangle stay with me right this is slowly we will be doing slow phase wise right 100 points 100 points so slowly your straddle straddle will convert to strangle with a very slow pace but with one adjustments we can just convert it to strangle right so now what it is called we add a straddle market was in between the straddle the next day market gave a gap up right <clears throat> now your current ce price premium stands at 750 and your current price of the put stands at 350 there is a huge difference right 350 750 there is a huge difference right the delta of this strike will be very high right you know right atm delta will be high but your delta of your put side will be very low 
the kind of speed the market goes this will start giving you the panic <coughs> right this 750 can become 850 950 but the delta of the put side is such a low this will not decay much but this will this will increase like anything friends try to understand delta see basically option selling is all about delta management but if i talk about the delta management people will feel that delta management is some rocket sense nothing friends simple things I'll, I'll give you see stay with me for like five to six videos on this straddle series you'll get to know <clears throat> basically what i mean to say is like the delta of the put side is low and the delta of the call side because this is your atm this is your testing side if market makes a move of another one percent the 750 will become 900 within a fraction of minutes or hours but do you think this 350 will become zero this 350 has to become zero only on expiry you got my point this 350 will not become zero immediately this will become zero only on expiry the dk will be very less compared to the <coughs> faster dk compared to the because the delta of the call side is huge the delta of the put side now is low because call side is a testing side put side is not the testing side so what we have to do is like friend <coughs> simple you have to exit this call leg exit the call leg right accept the loss accept the loss of 2500 because your view went wrong see when your view went wrong when the trade is giving you 2500 loss are you again thinking of getting it to profit no friends my dear friends no you have to now start thinking about how to mitigate my further loss if you start doing the firefighting by doing the roll up roll down yes if you are like very active aggressive adjusted you can do that but other thing is like to make your trading more easy what you have to do is like exit this call leg right and sell one call equal to the put premium that's it friends the smart traders might have got the answer when you sell a call of 350 you are making it as a strangle got it see again i'll tell you friends this is any see anyways i'm going to make a video okay anyways i'm going to make a video that this is trailer so what i'm doing exit this call and then make uh, sell one more call which is close to 350 so what is 350 so you have one pe here with already 350 uh, premium right and then you are selling one more call at 350 premium more or less 350 premium so what is this this is your strangle that's it your friend so you were able to convert your straddle to strangle by <coughs> squaring off this call leg by accepting the loss and then selling a call close matching with your current put premium that will create a strangle with one click you are able to create and your market will stand here you will have huge range friends believe me, you will have huge range maybe you are thinking that the moment we convert it to strangle the row you will have huge range because you are selling a call worth 350 but the price is standing at 750 so you are going deep otm right you are not aggressive you are going from 750 you are going to otm because as and when you go to the otm the price the premium will increase so you will rather than you maybe your straddle might have given you like 500 points that's it here from your loss area but this triangle will give you maybe 1500 or close to 2000 points on both the sides right just wait for my upcoming videos on the management this is one of the <coughs> things so we are not going to discuss more about this thing anyways we are going to discuss uh, this in the coming days okay let me delete this <coughs> now this is very important friends delta management see more or less the same concepts i'll tell you one thing right let's say this is your strangle same example we are taking market stands in the between <coughs> you have what did we discuss 500 put and 500 call these are the premiums for your straddle let's say the market came one percent here same example will take right this will stand at 750 and <clears throat> this will stand at 350 right so you have a 150 profit here obviously right plus 150 and this is minus this will be minus 250 all right friend so net net you are at a loss of 100 rupees 
right? 100 rupees. See, minus 250, minus 150, right? 100 rupees. Now, what you can do is you have to manage your market stands now here. Your market stands now here, friends. This is your market. So forget about this market now. This is this is gone, right? Can I can I rub this? Okay, now right? your market stands here. Tr tr stay with me, friends. I mean, hope you are. Able. Anyways, I'll, I'll be able. To, I'll be making a video. Your market stands now because market went and stand here. Now what you have to do is looking at the strategy. What did I say? We need to do the delta balancing now. Do you think the delta of this strike and your put strike are uh, same? No. This will be more and this will be less. This Maybe this will have, uh, let's say, 0 0.5 because the ATM will have 0 0.5 and the delta of your put side will be like 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. <coughs> right? That is imbalance. Now, what you have to do is, you have a premium difference of 100 rupees. Right? What did I say? Your, your overall strategy is at a loss of 100 rupees. Try to pause the video and watch the video again. Right? Maybe last two minutes what I am discussing because the moment market came here, <coughs> this 500 has become 350 right? and this 500 premium has become 750. Oh, if you are not uh, understanding the premium, I think you have to rewatch uh, visit. Now, right? so you are at a loss of minus 250 and you are at a profit of 150 net net you are at a loss of 100 rupees all right now you have to sell one put of worth 100 rupees premium or else what would what do i do i'll, I'll show you like if you go to the op star let me show you <coughs> let me take it up let's say if you go to this greek concept right if you go to the greek right if you look at the delta <coughs> see the delta is minus 21 See, ideally the delta should be 0. Let me get it back to this thing. See, now, uh, okay, sorry, let me raise it. See, friends, the delta is more or less minus 4. This is somewhat balanced actually because we have imbalanced premium because we have a delta of V. We took the put strike with the delta of 11 and we sold, so we sold the call side with the delta of 14. So that is minus 4. Minus 4 to minus 10 is acceptable. So this is where the majority of the retailers will get into confusion by looking at the delta. So that's the reason I make all my video on the premium base. If I if I show you the premium, that would help you. Right? <coughs> See if I show you the premium, right, that would help you. Okay, stay with me, friends, stay with me. So what I wanted to say is like let me take the market to 2% or 1% down. And now see your delta now. Right? There is an imbalance, 10 rupees, or let me take it to 1% yeah I think 1 15 right anything above like minus 5 minus plus 5 right we have to balance this delta how can we balance this delta now is the biggest question right to balance this delta right check the premium frame check the premium the PE has become 5 rupees delta Oh, sorry and your this thing your call delta has become minus 20 so end of the day we have to balance so what will happen if i add stay with me if i add another plus delta of what is the deviation i'll add plus 15 what will happen this will become now 20 right 20 and 20 don't you think this will become zero now because we are balancing the delta now so what we have to do basically i'll again take you back <coughs> stay with my friends <coughs> right what i'll do the difference of 100 rupees i will sell a naked put from here that's it i'll sell a naked put whichever is standing at 100 or just to make let's say my, my delta shows minus 20 let's say i'll, I'll show you in the op star minus 20 my overall positional delta is simply friends i'll just go to option chain whichever strike is standing at minus 20 delta this is very important uh, this will be like very important video friend i think i'm just trying to complicate you but when i do the dedicated video you'll get, uh, you'll get to know so whichever strike is standing at minus 20 i will sell that put it can be this it year or it can be here the moment i do that my trade will become like this still i'll have straddle but some sort of like this this will become like this so your market will stand now the market stands here you will you will get some additional range on the call set still you will have unlimited loss still you will have unlimited but you will have a kind of uh, 
pay off graph in such a way that you'll you'll get additional hundred. See whatever. So let's say you're selling hundred rupees. That hundred rupees will add here. So you'll get hundred points. That hundred points. Maybe what when I say hundred points, it can be two hundred uh two hundred points or three hundred points based on the wicks. You'll get some additional range to manipulate the market. That's it. So that is called the delta management. Let's say let's say the market again comes goes to Uh, like hundred or two hundred points. That's it, friend. What you have to do? Exit this trade, exit this leg, and just go to your overall position again. That will show you like minus thirty or something. Sell one more put. That's it. If you if you sell one more put here, right to balance this uh, delta again. Market stands here. Your your straddle position will be same, but you will have more same. Your position will stand. You will get additional two hundred to three hundred points. But This put will give you profit when the market is going up. The the loss what you will incur, you are able to get it from this naked put because market is going up. And when you exit this again, you are buying one more. So when to exit from this naked put? Stay for those videos when the market makes a move of upside or a U turn. So then you have to exit this. That is all about your. adjustment videos right so we have discussed about shifting straddle by doing delta management this is one of my favorite friends right you will love this video you will love this video definitely rolling up rolling down this is the normal adjustment what majority of retailers will do but this will convert it slow to strangle slowly and the other adjustment is like friday uh, maybe on friday or monday with one single adjustment you can convert your entire straddle to strangle that will give you more peace of mind and then your thought process should change from straddle to strangle strangle will give you more safety because now again you should not stop complaining my straddle was giving me 10000 profit but the moment i converted to strangle it is giving me only 5000 boss your view went wrong but do not think about this 10000 you have to think don't even think about this 5000 think about that undefined loss think about this that's what i keep think about this undefined loss don't think about your profit you know right whenever i make the video i'm a conservative trader and even i wanted you all to be like conservative if you're playing like a gambler you will be out of market in 2 months 3 months 6 months 8 months that's it again you'll start blaming the market to be like <coughs> eh? manipulated or gambling yes it is manipulated 100% it is manipulated 100% people will take it as a gambling right but the th the thing is like uh, for the people who, who who take it as a gambling right we should act as a casino owner there are many videos on the youtube from i love that videos like just go and see why the casino owners will always win the game right end of the day it's like 50 50 right if you go to the casino end of the day it's 50 50 percent but but 100 percent the casino owner will win the game because he has the edge of that 0.1 percent because he will charge <coughs> see he will charge you because he is giving you the platform what see that, that is one of the very good videos you have to understand if you go to the casino right end of the day it's a 50 50% right this is the casino owner this is you right whenever you go for the bet you you basically you have 50% chance and this guy has 50% chance chance but this casino owner will charge some fees because he's providing the platform so let's say is charging like 2% or 1% let's say 2% or 1% so end of the day he will get 52% this guy will get 52% you will get 48% for you it doesn't matter right whoever is winning 48 or 49 right this guy will get 52 or 51 this guy doesn't have any different let's say <coughs> if you are betting uh, let's say you are betting for uh, 50 rupees Right, you you bet it for one rupee and you got fifty for fifty rupees. But even if you get forty nine, you'll be happy. You're happy to give that one rupees for the for the cause of providing the platform. But that casino owner has the edge of that one percent or two percent. Right, either he can make either he can make fifty one percent, or else on every trade he'll make one percent for sure, because that is the charge. That is the edge, friend. Right, so you have to act as a casino owner, not As a gambler, right? Gambler will not get any. The gambler either he'll get fifty rupees or forty nine rupees, or else he will be at zero. But the casino guy, he will get either one rupee or else he'll get fifty one rupees, 
or else you'll lose 50 but this 1 rupee or the 2 rupees you will get with each and every buyer right if you want i can make a video friend but there are like many videos on the youtube just comment me saying that what what exactly i was trying to convey i'll just make a video on this part also i think the video is getting extended this is only <coughs> friends this is only a sort of teaser right we are going to start the series on straddle right we are going to make one each video on this thing you can expect five to ten adjustments from me these are all key points capital what capital is required one lakh twenty thousand how to reduce the margin we have seen a very separate video for the big players straddle is bread and butter from there it's absolutely until bread and butter but they are smart traders that deploy the straddle in a very smart way by having big range they will not go for weekly they will go for two months three months right they will have this much of bigger range even if market stands here even if market makes a move of five percent that will not have any impact on them but we do normal weekly trades even with a move of one person we will do unnecessary adjustments and will end up making mess of the trade but the big traders they'll go for two months five percent gap down will not do anything they know market can come five percent boss market can come six percent but it has to go up right if, if not people will lose their trust in the market again it will come so they have like two months of time they will not do unnecessary adjustments they have almost like 10 percent 15 percent safety up and downside based on the vix whenever they see i vix they just go and deploy this straddle for monthly two months three months six months because they are focusing only one percent per week we should not talk about weeks they are expecting two to four percent per month this is 24 to 48 percent per year with some people who are playing with crores with 10 crores with 100 crores this will do wonders for them because they don't want to get into that situation wherein they are blowing up their capital no they will be like very systematic and they are they do very risk based and they do peace of mind trades as a retailer you and me right peace of minds will not give us that kick right we end up doing <coughs> daily straddles forget about weekly daily straddles friends i am just telling you see one of the see wait for my adjustment video right even even the intraday i'll just take another two minutes how to do the intraday straddle simple friends when let's say you deployed a straddle at 10 o'clock let's say 9 30 okay so you got a, a range of let's say uh 500 and 500 right 500 and 500 so what you have to do divide this so combine you got 1000 right combined you got 1000 so what you have to do is like when you're doing intraday divide it by like eight eight or seven i'll, I'll tell you the formula see thousand divided by uh okay uh let me uh take it take this up in the upcoming session because again this will uh, increase the length of the video so i'll tell so you have to just divide it by eight and you have to mark that on your straddle here and there so whenever the market divided by eight right or else you can say even divided by 10 friends because you're doing intraday so that would be like let's say 100 points you should not do any adjustment until and unless the market makes a move of 100 points the market makes it move of downside on the 100 points then you have to do the adjustments right i'll i'll i'll, I'll make a video on intraday also if you are like very active uh intraday players you can do like good adjustments even you can get good amount from the intraday provided you put your stop losses and you know when to do the adjustments simple friends you have to give more priority to your risk in the intraday but not on the profit if you are able to mitigate your risk profit is by product right i'll make a video I'll, I'll add one more thing saying that intraday i think that would that would uh, be interesting video intraday straddle how easily you can uh, uh what do we say manage the intraday straddle okay thank you friends thank you for watching my video so please stay tuned for my series on straddle and also please like my video it takes one second for you to like subscribe my video and also please share with your friends thank you